hello everyone welcome once again to dada's food crave kitchen if you're new here I welcome you for returning subscriber i also welcome you if you're new i hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget that post notification bell so that you'll be one of the first to know whenever i upload a new video and kindly watch this video to the end if you really want to achieve this recipe and make your own french baguette bread at home you have to watch the video to the end it's well explained and very detailed trust me if i can make my own bread you will also make your own bread it's so simple and well explained your whole family will appreciate you and they will definitely enjoy a home made bread that is made from home and from scratch yes without any further ado let's get cooking all right my little steam let's start by washing our hands because like i said hygiene is key so we're gonna wash our hands for two minutes with soap and warm water it's your life music And next in a bowl I have two cups of warm water or room temperature two cups of warm water not so hot water I'm not saying hot warm water and next I have here one tablespoon of active dry yeast one tablespoon of active dry yeast then next i have here one teaspoon of sugar one teaspoon of sugar now you want to make sure you give that a good mix the dry yeast and the sugar combine Next, you want to make sure you pour that into your mixing bowl. And the best recipes that you will need to make your food taste yummy for everyone. What that is food craft kitchen today. Then next, you want to make sure you add now your five cups of bread flour. You can use all-purpose flour, but I would recommend you use bread flour. Then next, directly on the bread flour, I'm going to add two teaspoons of salt. And next, you're going to go ahead and mix the, the water and the flour until it's combined, until you don't see any dry flour. Now, after everything is combined really nice, you're going to go ahead and cover in a warm place for like 30 minutes. Cover and let rest for 30 minutes. Yeah. 
and voila this is 30 minutes later you're going to go ahead and take the dough out of the bowl now you're gonna go ahead and just simply mix the dough just fold and stretch fold and stretch fold and stretch all right next i'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of butter you can use salted butter on unsalted butter all right the butter was already softened right it was room temperature the butter was left on room temp temperature now when you mix in the butter in the dough it's gonna kind of look weird and have that weird weird feeling on your hand but do not panic do not panic just keep mixing and mixing this is the time if you're angry about something if you're upset about something just put all that energy into that dough and keep mixing and mixing and mixing and folding and stretching and punching and just mixing and stretching and mixing and stretching don't panic like i said it's gonna look weird because of the butter the salted butter okay keep mixing until you will have start having that feel of smoothness into the dough all right like I'm doing in the video, if you're liking this video so far, give this video a big thumbs up and a big like. And share with your family and friends. After you watch this video, you will definitely achieve making your own French bread baguette at home. The winter is coming. You know how it is in the West. We usually have snow and everybody is like running to the store getting bread and milk. You will not be one of those people. You will be like, I have my bread flour at home. I have my yeast. I'm going to make my own bread. Even if the store is run out of bread, you'll be proud to make your own bread at home. Your whole family will enjoy. So keep mixing until you see that um, smoothness of it. Then you're going to go ahead and put it in the bowl and cover and rest for another 30 minutes. So after that first 30 minutes of resting the dough in a warm place, now you're going to go ahead and take it out. Put it on a work surface. This time again, you're going to keep mixing again and keep like kind of slapping the dough on the work surface and folding and stretching and folding and stretching. All right. I will say for like two to three or five minutes. Then next, you're going to go ahead and rub some oil in a bowl. And now, put the bowl inside, flip it over. Now, you're going to cover it for one hour. Let it rest in a warm place for one hour. All right? Okay. 
and this was one hour later the dough have been double its size all right this is what you want to see after the one hour mac you're going to take it out now this time sprinkle some flour on top of the dough and sprinkle some flour on your work surface and flip the dough over and spread it out After the dough is all spread out, now you're going to go ahead and cut it in section. You can make the baguette French bread to be big. You can make it thicker, whichever way. If you want it thinner, you can make like five slices out of it. I only made four cuts out of it. All right. If you want it thicker, if you want the inside to be like really thicker, you can go ahead and make lesser cut. But if you want it like that nice, light french bread baguette you can go ahead and put make it like three um four cuts of or three cut, um five cuts so you're gonna go ahead and fold it like so like i'm doing in the video and then you're gonna cover it let it rest for 10 minutes then come back and cover it this time finally you're gonna go ahead and stretch it out and use your rolling pin and just like roll it as I'm doing in the video. If you're a visual person, just look exactly how I'm doing it. And that's exactly how you're supposed to do it. Use your rolling pin and just roll it like so. And then just fold it. Make sure when you're folding it, every fold that you do, make sure it's really, really snugged. Press and snugged. Press firmly down and snug. It's like you're folding it and you're pressing it to seal any, um, you know, space or air or whatever. But you want to make sure it's like glued in and snug to press it. Make sure it's really pressed down and glued into the, to the dough while you're folding it. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same steps until everything is done. So now after folding like the dough and everything is done, I have four baguette French bread. I'm going to go ahead finally now and cover it for 20 minutes. All right. 20 minutes. This is almost the final step. You cover it for 20 minutes. So meanwhile, my oven is preheating to 5, 450. All right. So now you want to make sure you add hot water to a baking sheet and put it inside the oven this will allow the baguette the french bread to be like crispy take the hot water pan and put it on the bottom of the oven all right that steam will definitely um, allow the french baguette to create to be more cr um, crispy and crunchy so after 20 minutes now 
what you want to do you want to take a knife or a blade whatever you have and just slice across the, the the french baguette dough like so as i'm doing in the video just watch closely you want to be quick with it though if you have a sharp knife you just go you slit it open slit it open depending on how many slit you want to make if you want to make three across whatever style you want to make you can go for it and slit it like i said you're going to be quick with it just deep not too deep but just slice slice it all right then if you have a spray bottle you can just spray the, the bread with um a little bit of water i don't have a spray bottle so i use my 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 pastry brush to just brush a little bit of water on top of the dough you can sprinkle flour on it if you want and but i didn't do that i just you know use water and spray the dough um rub some water on top of the dough like i said if you have spray bottle it's easy just spray a little bit of water on top of the um the dough Now I'm going to go ahead and pop it in the oven. Like I said, my oven was preheated to 450 degrees. We're going to go ahead and bake it for 18 to 20 minutes. All right. And finally, voila, our French bread, homemade French bread baguette is ready. Hear that crunch, guys. Hear that crunch. And I apologize. My TV was on, so there's a background noise on it. And I hope you guys don't mind. I should have known better, but... I just wanted you to instead of muting this part i just wanted you to listen to the crunchiness of the bread yes our french bread baguette is ready guys yes it is ready yes it's so thin and so crispy you can enjoy this with your nice butter i can't believe it's not butter yes for your omelette your eggs your sandwich whatever it is yes you can make your own at home and you your whole family will appreciate you and they will, everybody will love you for it yes it was so delicious and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're gonna try this recipe let me know if you want more of these um me to bake things for you like bread another type of recipe bread I will bring that to you guys you hear that crunch it was so delicious the butter was salted too oh my goodness i thank you all so much for watching like share comment <coughs> and leave your comment down below and share this video i will see you all in my next upload i thank you all so much for watching until i come you'll be next time bye bye It's the best.